Did you know in Justice League? The Green Lantern that fought Steppenwolf millennia ago is shown to be Elon Gurr. In the comics, Gurr was a protector of Earth and the rest of Sector 2814. He died after crashing into the planet like a meteor. Eventually, Alan discovered Gurr's meteor which is called Starheart, and that's what turns him into the first Green Lantern from the comics. Did you know in Avengers Age of Ultron, Bruce Banner creates the extra housing compartments that hold the Hulkbuster armor, and he names it Veronica. This could be a tie to the Archie comics, where Archie's constantly choosing between Betty and Veronica. Veronica could be the Hulk's version of that since Bruce Banner already has a girlfriend named Betty Ross. Did you know in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Chris Pratt has opened up about how Michael Rooker ended up having the better shirtless scene in the film. Rooker's shirtless scene is all about showing vulnerability and developing the character of Yondu. Pratt felt that his own shirtless scene was about showing off his body and didn't really do anything to develop Quill's character. Did you know in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, there's some hidden foreshadowing about Ego's real intentions when Peter, Gamora, and Drax first arrive. All around Ego's place you can see skull-shaped formations that hint at his murderous side. Did you know in Thor The Dark World, the stuntmen and extras that were playing the Dark Elves actually had to go through a training period of practicing standing tall and proud. Since the Dark Elves were envisioned as noble beings, they looked to the prosthetics designer David White to help. He designed the helmet so the eye line was pulled down, and the actors were forced to tilt their heads up and back to give them a proud, strong feel. Did you know that Men in Black 3, the third installment of the action comedy franchise, was supposed to be directed by Michael Bay at first? Many prominent actors were also supposed to be cast, such as Alec Baldwin, Mark Wahlberg, but both dropped out because of scheduling conflicts. This film also marked Will Smith's first in four years, making it the longest he took since beginning his illustrious career in cinema. Moreover, it carried on the tradition of featuring an undisclosed cameo by a famous entertainer, this time being Lady Gaga, while the second famously featured the legendary Michael Jackson. Did you know in Uncharted? The scene where Nathan and Chloe are trapped in the small chamber that's slowly filling with water was made as efficiently and safely as possible considering the fact that multiple takes would have to be made. They ended up building an entire set and slowly submerged it in a pool of water that could hold it. Did you know in The Mandalorian? Baby Grogu's scenes were shot using the puppet the first time around, but then the crew wanted to try it with CGI. Werner Herzog plays the client in the series, and when he heard about this, he called them cowards for wanting to try things that way. The crew decided to leave the scenes with the puppet, and it ended up being beautiful. 